Till now, whatever examples that we have covered under VLOOKUP, you may have noticed that we always used to have a direct lookup value available. If you refresh your memories and the work you have done and where you have applied VLOOKUP, you will came to know that it is always the case that you always have a direct lookup value. But in this case, it's a kind of a special case where we need to create a nested VLOOKUP. I'll show you. Right now in this table on sheet A in 06044 VLOOKUP worksheet, here we have order IDs available and we need the product name. So technically we should have on the next worksheet a data in which order IDs and a product name must be available. But this is not the case. If I go to the next worksheet using control page down, you will see that I have product IDs with me. I have order IDs with me also. Price, quantity, discount, but I do not have the product name. In turn, on the next worksheet, we have product IDs and product names. So you can sense it out that the lookup value is not directly available. First, we need to apply a VLOOKUP to find out the actual lookup value. It means first I need to apply a VLOOKUP and I'll come up with the product ID and then I have to apply a VLOOKUP and using that product ID as my lookup value. First, I'm going to break down this in two steps and then I'm going to club it and do it in a single cell to make you easily understand. So let's see, let me apply a VLOOKUP here. So I'll say equals to VLOOKUP. As you know that for product name, lookup value should be product ID. So that is what we are trying to get now. So we look up, look up value will be order ID, comma, I'll go to the next worksheet. So table array will be order ID as well as product ID. I can select the complete range till the end, but it is not required because I need only one thing, which is product ID and that is there in my selection. So I'll press control shift down arrow to select it till the end. I'll press F4 now, which is to freeze it because I need to copy and paste it towards down that we have discussed already. Comma, now column index number is, this is column number one as per our selection and this is column number two. So column index number will be two because we need the values from the second column of our selection. Comma, range lookup will be true or false. We are again looking for an exact match. I'll show you the example of approximate match in the coming videos. Now here either I can type in false or I can select it and press tab or I can put zero. So I'll close down the bracket now and if I press enter you can see I'm getting that product ID with me. Now on the basis of this product ID, I can get the product name. But before that, let me copy and paste it down. How I can do that? I can copy it by pressing control C. I'll move my cursor towards left and then I'll press control down arrow to jump till the end of this data. And then I'll move right words and then I'll press control shift up arrow to select it and then I can press control V or I can press enter it will copy the values and paste it till the end now I'll move upwards using control up arrow key and there we go now this is actually the product ID that we have came up with now we need to find out the product name so first let me do it over here product name product name 
now one more thing uh, if you want to auto fit this we have a shortcut for that which is alt h o i now these kind of shortcuts you can create it by yourself how i'll show you one thing that if i need to auto fit either i can double click over here that i have discussed earlier also or i can go to this home tab and if i move my cursor towards right hand side of this ribbon you'll find one thing format now if i click on this you will see you can actually auto fit the column width okay now i'll show you one more thing this is actually we are using mouse but how to create a shortcut for this if you want to access anything in the ribbon you need to press alt once so you'll find that these hotkeys are coming you have to press it once and you need to release your alt key now we know that it is under the home tab so when i press h all the hotkeys are there under the home tab so it is till now it is alt h and then we know that it is in format so it is alt h then o and i for auto fit column width so if i press i you will find that it is working fine so again i can press alt h o i over here to expand it but to repeat the last function that we have done we can press f4 and it will repeat the last function for us last action rather now to get the product name we can actually apply vlookup here that is now simple it's a kind of a direct vlookup lookup value will be the product id comma table array now the table array is on sheet c so we'll go over there we'll select it product id as well as product name and you can see it is coming on the second column in our selection so we'll press control shift down arrow to select it till the end then we'll press f4 so that it will be freezed comma 2 comma 0 for false so i'll close down the bracket and if i press enter you can see i'm getting the name of the product so now i can double click on the right bottom corner of the cell and it will copy and paste it down till the end now this is what we have done in two steps but we are going to do it in in a single one you know that this is actually the final lookup value and this will come up using a v lookup using this as a lookup value so that is why i'm going to use this equals to v lookup now we do not have a lookup value right now so again i need to apply v lookup and now the lookup value will be this one comma we'll go to the next worksheet which is b and we'll go at the very top and we'll select order id and product id i'm pressing control shift down arrow so it will select it till the end and i'm going to freeze it comma column index number is 2 comma and that is that will be false so i'll close down the bracket here now this will give us our lookup value now here's a small tip whenever you want to see the result of the formula that you are typing in inside it means the results of the arguments that you are typing in not the complete formula but the arguments if you are typing in so in that case for example if i have applied this v lookup and i want to know the result of this you have to select this particular argument or this formula if i press f9 function f9 key on my keyboard it will show me the result have a look it means it is correct now to go back just press control z on your keyboard and it will go back to the normal one now comma table array table array will be on the sheet c so we will go up and we'll select column b and c so we'll select it and we'll press control shift down arrow till the end and then i have to press f4 to freeze it comma column index number will be 2 because we need the values from column c 
and we have started a call from column B comma and it will be false so I'll close down the bracket and when I press enter here we go we are getting that result now I can double click over here to copy and paste it down till the end and there we go now it has copied the formatted or formatting also and that I have already discussed that how we can only copy and paste the formulas it seems a bit complex that I do understand but it will require some practice and it is very logical one in future if you face this kind of condition now you know that you can actually apply nested VLOOKUP we have applied double VLOOKUP right now you can actually apply three VLOOKUPs also so it's a kind of a chain that you have you can create if the lookup values are not directly available now I would want you to open the exercise file of 0604 double VLOOKUP there I would want you to create a nested VLOOKUP thank you